Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wow. oh. Thank you. It is Oh, thank you, Marcus. Marcus is going to pass out the documentation that I prepared for my website. Well, good afternoon. Thanks again, everybody, for coming out. I'm here at Centric today, like a lot of you probably are. I was referred by a friend who was referred by a friend who was referred by a friend. Look, you kind of get the idea. Um, before I came to study at Centric, I worked at a video conference company doing their online marketing, uh, expanded their online presence, and <coughs> had the experience doing web design. And even before that, uh, I was involved in online journalism in Florida. Um, and even back in my roots in college, uh, I worked on websites. So uh, I came in with a bit of a background in HTML. A lot of things changed in terms of uh, CSS. And I, I just tinkered around with programming, really didn't know too much about that. So um, you know, having that background created a lot of expectations, I think, of me and within me to uh, come in and just really do some fantastic things, a lot of bells and whistles, and I had the opportunity to see a couple of these presentations before, and that's kind of what I expected as well. Well, this actually came, began to become a bit of a hindrance, all that I'd known, and as uh, the great Yoda once implored, you must unlearn what you have learned. So I came to realize that my strengths weren't so much the bells and whistles as they were uh, the details and function of web design and uh, my copywriting background really came in handy uh, dealing with programming uh, code and uh, experiences like that. So, um, so now on to the job finder. We're given this, we're given this uh, project and I knew, having seen again, those other presentations, I wanted to put my own spin on it and rename it. And uh, you know, I gained a bit of a reputation around the school for knowing seemingly everyone. Uh, I know I really enjoyed Marcus's reaction Every time you saw me acknowledge somebody by name, like, really? You know that person, too? <laughs> so uh, that influenced the choice of my website. Click on. Okay. <clears throat> so I kind of got known as the king of schmooze, um, which, of course, means to chat or uh, speak with folks for self-promotion. So I decided to name my job finder schmooze. <laughs> which stands for a system for cataloging and managing occupational output while searching for employment. <laughs> so when you first visit the website, uh, go ahead and click any section. You will see the records that are entered here, but there's not a lot of functionality. Um, I did some basic security controls um, in, the, in the code behind, that, uh, it, so the role has to be enabled. So, you can, you can see it, but, but you really can't access any information. Uh, back on schmooze, so you have to log in for uh, fuller functionality. But before you even get to that, say that you've forgotten your password. Go ahead, click on that. I used a multi-view to toggle over from the initial login page to a password recovery. And uh, these controls were uh, built into the uh, web developer that we used. So I just thought it was, you know, not overwhelm the initial visitors to the site with a bunch of different controls staring at them, so uh, if you can turn the login, if you go ahead and play the login to the site, please. So, I wanted to, so, when, so for full functionality, uh, a user or visitor will need to, to log in. So. Good part. There we go. And then one, upon login, you'll get a little more information. Uh, again, this was enabled through some of the basic security settings uh, that had to be in a role. And there's a brief description of each of the different sections. So they have a bit of an explanation of where they need to go and what they need to do uh, within the site. So you click on contacts, please. And now you see the same view, but the things are enabled. The different controls, the drop down list, which allows you to subject, uh, select my organization, uh, click on the show and active. You can kind of toggle back and forth and see some contacts that are already in there. Uh, if the image wasn't able to be uploaded, have a no image available. <laughs> and uh, you also have the ability uh, to uh, add a contact. So go down to that. And uh, let's, add, let's add our good friend here, Rob Lowe. So 
Go down. <laughs> And all of these uh, boxes have uh, their maximum lengths set to uh, agree with whatever's in the SQL database so that you won't have any um, over overflow errors and also uh, will uh, prohibit any um, unwanted activity. Uh, I believe there was an instance of a website being taken over by a, a SQL injection, which means somebody slips an extra code into their their mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you can just, yeah, you can just scroll down a little bit as you be in there. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, inter 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 just like I said. Let's make Rob Lowe an employee of Central. Now see, these uh, asterisks might be scrolled down. I use validation controls that will give you an error message. Okay, we didn't put in a title, we need to put in a phone number, we need to give uh, Rob a little bit uh, an email address as well. So, oh, right around. There's also a form validator on this, so you'll need to uh, type the email in the appropriate email form format. Hit enter. Next scroll down. It's going to be an action. It's going to be an action. Maybe we made it an action. Totally. It's out of the bottom. Well, we, we didn't get his image in it correctly, so we get a default to no image available page. So, okay. Actually, if you hit this reset button, this is a good opportunity to demonstrate what this does. Through some uh, user testing by my uh, girlfriend, who's a business analyst uh, for a local bank, uh, it was brought to my attention that when you selected a different, a different record or something here in the, uh, the grid view, there should be a, an easy way to uh, reset back to the, the initial appearance. So I put in a button and put some code behind that, that resets the drop-down list grid view to their initial values and states. Uh, one of the things I'd like to demonstrate you click on the select button. You'll see here that in organization, uh, that's a highlighted link. I use a, a query string to pass this value from the organization, to the farmer's insurance, to uh, display this information in, in the data source. So to just highlight that one record. And again, this, here's a good opportunity to hit the, the reset button. Again, <clears throat> just a quick and easy way to, to, to come back to the initial view that you can see if you clicked on this page, um, do the navigation at the top. I thought just, again, kind of go back to my design roots. I want to provide as many um, paths as possible for the users to navigate the website. Um, and then also try to demonstrate how to update a record. Uh, if you click on the top one, Logix Labs, you notice that there's a, a misspelling when I entered in the organization title, uh, T-E-H. So if you come down here and click Edit, you can change that. How many in the chat you can take it? In my uh, database. Okay, and then click update. And there you go. The record's been updated uh, in, the, uh, in the database. Uh, also, I use this query string to, if you click on this left again, again, the, uh, the same, scroll down, uh, the same idea and concept of, okay, don't click on that one again, that if there's a position available related to this organization, that uh, it will appear uh, on the table, but uh, put some code in the background that if there are no jobs available, uh, that option of viewing jobs will be hidden from the user. So uh, again, uh, just if they um, use some code behind this, that there was nothing, use an if statement, if there was no information that, that, uh, in that table, that uh, it, would, it would set the, the visibility of that to false. So, but here there are some jobs. Good. And uh, I'd also like to add on the organizations, for the, the initial uh, requirements of JobFinder called this company, but I felt that that um, description was a little too limited. Uh, a lot of the employers I looked at include um, city and state government, 
school districts, um, nonprofit organizations, local libraries, and I don't necessarily consider those entities to be companies, which is why I opted to call that section organization. Um, again, these other two tables are a lot of the same. I used a grid view to display the information, um, a multi-view sort of toggle back and forth. Actually, I'm going to hit the reset button again. Again, so, so what you saw before was a, just a, a different version of the multi-view. Um, the, the, you know, so they don't have all that information moving around on the page. Um, Actually, let me go back to my contacts. One thing that I wanted to mention um, that you know, even though a lot of communication is done electronically over the phone, uh, again, back back to my uh, personality and knowing so many people, I felt it was really important to uh, include an image of my contacts uh, in their records. Uh, these were obtained from LinkedIn, um, uh, down, downloaded uh, to. My website then uploaded into my server, so I uh, didn't hide outside of these people's homes with a uh, with a camera in the bushes, as we strongly recommended uh, that I didn't do that. So, um, a lot of the resources I used to construct, construct my site were uh, the textbooks that we were given, um, notes, the various projects that Neil had mentioned earlier. Uh, kept referring back to those. Uh, did a lot of online searches, particularly error messages. I'm sure that she, the new class probably heard that or recommended if you. And that, that initial reaction, if something something blows up, like, oh no, you know, you know, hit X, close that window out. So it's taken us a bit of time to sort of uh, overcome that, that initial response and, and again, do some Google searches the error messages. Um, another great resource uh, was my classmates and my instructors. Um, you know, I was a little reluctant when I first uh, began the track uh, asking those folks for information, but I kind of started to, to view it as I would if I was at a job. And, uh, you know, we're really not going to work in a vacuum. And so I viewed my, uh, my classmates and my instructors as uh, co-workers and uh, supervisors. And I'm glad that I can now think of you all as friends. So uh, I'd also uh, I'd take a moment and acknowledge my parents that are here today and thank them for all of their emotional and financial support uh, as I begin my uh, new career in information technology. Um, some things that I'd like to do with this website include, uh, again, back to the LinkedIn images, either finding a web service that pulls us out, or maybe developing that myself, or some code. Uh, we found out how those images are dynamic generated. We saw that they're not uh, put in kind of security, so you don't have to be logged in to LinkedIn to access those. So I can maybe do that a little more dynamically, as opposed to having to uh, download and upload those to my database. Uh, I'd like to implement a calendar uh, to keep track of all my uh, meetings and interviews and phone calls uh, in a handy sort of display, because hopefully I'll be getting a lot of those meetings and interviews and phone calls uh, after today. Uh, and then I also, um, I built the table into organizations um, for a future, future consideration for monitoring their, uh, their charitable activities. Um, you know, that's something that's pretty important to me, uh, both company-wide and individually as employees. Um, so that's something that I'll like to implement uh, later on if I have a little more time. Uh, so I think the most important message is that I intend to just kind of keep learning uh, and building upon what I've gotten here so far in my career. Are there any questions? Howie? I noticed you have a lot of different, uh, you're using a lot of different colors on this website. I was wondering if there was a purpose for that. Indeed there is. Um, <laughs> I wanted to kind of color code things sort of a handy reference for the users. I kind of took the USA Today approach. So yeah, if you uh, mouse over there, you'll see red, green, blue, yellow, as you see the different sections of a newspaper. And uh, that took a little bit of work writing um, in using the CSS style. When I initially found this template, I, uh, there was only one color for those, so I created a, uh, a class for each uh, list item. This, this navigation actually is just achieved in a list item and then reformatted in CSS. So, so one, if there was anything, uh, so knowing what you know now after going through that, if you had to go back and start over, is there anything that you would do different? Well, I actually kind of had to start over. I started with an additional template. Uh, it, was a little, it was a little too complicated, so I actually spent last week in about two to three hours reformatting the uh, in, in this master view these images. So uh, I, I might be a little bit wiser about picking that initial template, but uh, you know I, I really it, it's been a great experience. You know, putting just the additional little tidbits of code. Uh, again, I appreciate all your help with that. Uh, this gives some additional user functionality. So. Um, 
Anya, I like the way you set it up kind of to be a little more helpful for the user than the option to say click on view jobs for a particular contact or organization and then take you to show those jobs. Uh, it wasn't visible unless there were jobs to show. Did you have that set up as just a, a Boolean field in, in one of your tables that there either were or were not jobs to show for that company or was it tied in dynamically? Um, no, it, it, it wasn't um, as as the database passed the information to the website, um, it, it just it looked at the value. So it wasn't so much a, a boolean as it was, um, you know, if if it returned this text, then the code was looking for that particular text to either display it. And if it didn't see it, then if it didn't. So. Any other questions? All right, good job. Thank you all. Very good. Very good. Very good.